vessels. The acupuncture meridians, as they're called, aren't really meridians. They're made up of that of a. If you've ever cleaned a, uh, a game animal or a chicken, uh, you'll notice that between the organs, or done surgery, between the organs is a white filmy layer. That layer is built up like a like a baklava. It's built up in, in a number of layers. And each of those layers is a capacitive, conductive surface, not meant for conducting uh, material such as radioactive potassium, but it works as does anything in the body. The body's a biomedical, a biological mechanism. It works like the intestine does peristaltically, like the heart does peristaltically, and uh, it's ionic in nature, so it's polarized, and so it pulsates and moves information so the that system was an information system and the points are just above and below each joint and you have them down each side of the hand they're, they're around at an area that's about 45 degree angle toward the finger and you can take something like a ballpoint pen I don't you can take a just the, the, the not the point of the pen but the point of the case and you can probe about 45 degree angle just above and below each joint and most people don't know there's a joint just like this joint and this joint and this joint right down here at the wrist and you can probe those places and on ones where you're having a problem with the organ or organ system you'll find a little hard nodule under the skin just above and below the joint and about a 40, and if you rub back and forth past those one palpate like it were a little grain of rice filled with a coarse sand and so you can tell where you have a problem now and if you take a piece of metal and do the same thing different points will feel differently because the metal things tends to discharge an excess of uh, of electric field there and the plastic would tend to charge up a point of extra field there hmm. and it turns out there's a type of material called an electret an electret is to electric field like a magnet is to magnetic field. So there's a way of uh, putting a permanent electric charge on a piece of plastic. If you do that on your on your fingers and on your feet, you'll feel really, really good. It'll normally alleviate almost any problem you have. And that's what an acupuncturist does. They can find where those places are that you need to have a treatment and do it that way. Another way to do it is to use an acupuncture needle and stick it into the point to charge it or discharge it. Turns out that these points, like this is this is the lymphatic system here, and this is the lung system here. And if you go clear to the end of where and there are points up the body, if you go clear to the end of where that meridian is, they all end at a tooth root. The teeth are piezoelectric. When you squeeze a piezoelectric material, it generates a voltage. A or if you take a piece of piezoelectric material and apply a voltage, it expands or contracts. The teeth are piezoelectric. So that's why you should take very good care of your teeth and don't get a root canal unless you absolutely have to have it. And not that you'll die, but your health will go down. And so there's some things that we have, these little devices will make up for that and will charge you up and so especially people who are missing a lot of teeth. So you're saying that the that the tissues around the organs have an ionic transfer no. system There's which is to tethered. the organ, not that they're around the organ but they go all the way up the body. If you start stripping out uh, neural tissue, in fact it's a, it's a kind of an interesting thing most people don't know but lions and tigers never eat muscle tissue. It's highly toxic. They strip out the vet blood veins, the vessels, the neural tissue. Uh, they eat intestines and they, and they eat, you know, the heart and the internal organs. They don't eat muscle tissue. Really? Yep. If they feed them muscle tissue and they only give them muscle tissue, they'll eat it, but they get very ill. It's very highly toxic. This is not the typical nervous system you're talking about with sodium. No, there's no, there's there's no nervous system there. That's what I'm right. saying. It's a completely different system. System we found how it worked because we injected the radioactive potassium and then we looked at it and watched it go through the body. 
and it goes exceedingly fast. If you took blood from the tip of this finger and traced it back to the heart, it doesn't move very fast. It moves very, very slowly. It doesn't race through your veins. Uh, it jerks too. But if you uh, uh, inject the radioactive potassium here, we had a, we had to run the we had to get a higher speed CAT scan machine to even see it. It, it really races. Now you're saying this is all happening with some interface with the consciousness field or the information field? Informational field. What I'm saying is that that problems in the organ manifest themselves both physically and informationally at the appropriate points on the body. So let's assume that somehow, whether divinely or by uh, uh, genetics, we were insulate, we were uh, designed. Uh, why not design a system where you could test the thing? I mean, we don't come with an operator's manual, but maybe we come with a system that is very easy for us to find out what the problem is and then alter things. Now, one thing we found out is that every substance has an informational field around it. We found out that a way to take that substance, place it on a device, and from the device find a numerical uh, a numerical signature for that information field. Then we found a way, therefore, to store it in a computer. Now we can take the computer and run that information back out and generate an informational field. We can make that field large so it surrounds the body. And we can then measure in real time at these points, some of which, most of which are acupuncture points and some aren't make a signature of the compound and what happens is the body will react to that informational field as if you had given the person that substance. And so you can go to a, an acupuncture point and get information from it that you can graph and chart on a machine and it will tell you whether that organ is in, in a type of inflama inflammatory process or in a degenerative process and how much, how long it's been there, uh, whether it's winning the battle or losing the battle, and then you can put the person in an informational field from a substance that you think may solve that problem and ask the body and the body will react exactly as if you'd given that substance so you can select a type of treatment. When somebody is given a placebo, are they affecting their own informational field? Absolutely. You, you talk to uh, placebos work 50% of the time. And it isn't because placebos have a physical effect. They have a mental effect in some instances and they have an informational effect. In so some you should instances. be able to affect your own informational field. So yes, people ask me when I built these very complex computerized machines that do the diagnosis and selection of treatment, they ask me what's your goal for this machine? And I said, my goal is when the doctor throws the thing in the dipsy dumpster and just does it. And that can be done. However, the machine takes away his emotional state and his emotional uh, interference with it and the patient's emotional state and the patient's emotional characteristics with it. But uh, one of the machines that I want to come out with in the future is one that's a biofeedback device that allows the patient to put himself in an informational or mental state that affects the problem with the body. And that can, it can be done, it's easily be done, and other than gross poisoning or gross overconsumption of something. A lot of people are going to